Okay, we need to waste no time and jump right in. So let's get into it for the week beginning September 7th, 2020. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And again, this is the weekly angelic message for the week beginning September 7th, 2020. I'm not doing an auto write for this week. It's coming in pretty fast. And so I don't wanna to have to mess with the second camera setup. We just need to sit and go. <laughs> so here is what is happening. All right. I said in a daily, which I have not yet released, I will, that I was getting uh, these images of like the French Revolution. Right. And I don't know much about that. So I was going and looking it up and holy cow. Wow. The stuff that was going on. Unbelievable. And yet I feel like we're having some bit of that that's coming up now. It probably won't be to that scale. And it's definitely they're saying it's going to be very eye opening. There's something to be learned from that moment in history. So again, if you don't know about that, you might want to go back and uh, see what people do for their beliefs the approach that was taken, what was the result, and what is this mindset of the good guys versus the bad guys, okay? So I'm gonna put that out there, you interpret that the way that is right for you, but the feeling I'm getting here, this is gonna be going on for years. So this isn't just something that is like September 7th and you know, and then we're all good. This is something that's gonna be taking a while to unfold, but there is, to put it in human terms here, and the way our human brain can take it, it, it's a battle. It's a battle. But it's not a battle in the way that we're used to. So hang with me. This is almost a battle of those, <laughs> I hate to put it this way, I'm laughing at myself because I don't have a better way of saying this, but a battle between those who feel and those who have no feelings. Right now, our entire world is functioning under the power of people who have no feelings. And we see this as evidenced if someone does have an emotion, how that can be seen as like a weakness or it's incredible, you know, people will diminish them or people getting away with taking very, very subtle, manipulative, abusive tactics, but because they fly right under the radar, if you were to try to call them out, people see you as the whiny victim and they feel bad for the person who is inflicting the abuse. If that doesn't make sense to you, <laughs> I don't have to tell you, it's time to open our eyes. It's time to open our eyes and start coming together. See, a lot of people who are very empathetic, we understand very deeply what kind of world we're in. And we know that if we show, hey, we have some deeper wisdom or, hey, our hearts are open, that that can be taken advantage of, that can be fed upon. As I've been saying for weeks now, the ego consciousness is short-circuiting. And yes, we are designed to be self-preserving, but that has gotten out of control now. And now people are just trying, it, it's just all about them, right? Everything that's happened in 2020, it's only been happening to this one person. Their feelings mean more than anybody else's. How they see things, it's the right way and you're wrong. The battle is not through politics. It's not even through belief systems necessarily. Those battles exist, but this isn't what we're talking about here coming up. We're talking about waking up to where, where people have broken wiring and how much of their soul have they denied. What are they running on? They're running on your energy. And now we're calling it out. Be careful with this because this can be very, very dangerous. These are people, again, I have to say this, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not an expert in this area, blah, 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 blah. This is not meant to be psychiatric help or you know what I mean. It's not meant to replace that. But isn't that in and of itself a little bit of a tactic? so that we think, oh, we're not good enough to understand these things. We can't talk about these things. No, go educate yourselves. See what lack of empathy turns into. You'll come across the cluster B personality disorders, psychopaths, sociopaths, narcissists, covert narcissists. 
borderlines, histrionics. Again, I'm no expert, so just check it out for yourselves. But from a spiritual standpoint, these are the types of people who run the world. And the rest of us get stepped on. The tide is turning. It is absolutely time for us to, when we say reclaim power, again, the French Revolution, I don't know why that has been popping up in my head, but what kind of approach are we taking here? It is something that has to gradually open. It's something that has to be gradually realized. Because if we don't, we overcorrect. Okay, this is where we see people who are, you know, maybe recovering from codependency. I'm not an expert. I'm not a psychologist. If you think that's ridiculous that I have to say that, I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Obviously, I'm not here trying to give psychiatric help to people. Okay, obviously, I'm not trained to do that. And yet, the kinds of people who are in power would see this in a video and not like what I'm saying and find any angle to attack. And this is what I'm talking about. Being under attack. And I'm also talking about overcorrecting. So when we start to recover, maybe from like narcissistic abuse, for example, you know, your response might be to lash out and you almost start acting like a narcissist yourself because you're like, it's my turn. <laughs> and for the longest time, your examples have come from narcissists. That's the battle. The week of September 7th, there's going to be stuff going on. Great, Michelle, you're so wise. <laughs> I know, guys, listen, get ready for fall. I told you, I told you, September's kind of, uh, it's kind of, it's the quiet before the storm, almost, but it's not exactly quiet because I get people all the time. Oh my God, this is what you said in a video. Pay attention to what I, this example I'm giving you here. You said this in a video and now there are protests out in the streets. You were wrong. That's what I'm talking about where we take anything and try to twist what someone's saying. I'm not saying there aren't going to be things going on in the world. I'm not saying that <laughs> like you're not going to have some challenges in your own personal lives. What I'm saying is the big stuff is still to come. What you're seeing right now is nothing. Don't whine. Don't whine. We can't have you doing that. Do not fall. We need you. I also mentioned this in a daily that I have yet to publish. I have a lot of those cluster B personality disorder type people who watch my channel. They watch all of the reading channels. Why? Some are seeking. Some are trying to heal. The soul is very intelligent. So the soul wants to come back. <laughs> all right. Now I know they say that you can't cure narcissism and stuff like that. Um, that's that's that field that's that perspective but I think people are seeking there's that and then in the case of like narcissists and covert narcissists which are actually in my opinion much more dangerous than the overt narcissist because you can see an overt narcissist coming a mile away but a covert <laughs> will make you believe that you're friends and that you can trust them okay so just be careful with that but narcissists never tire of hearing about themselves and so they come to these channels. My whole profession is dealing with that. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Not to mention I have been narcissistically abused. Story to 11 on that one. I've, I've been in it. I've experienced it. So as we start this recovery, there can be this resistance to the awareness because not only do you have the people who behave like that you have the people who support them because they get brainwashed by the people supposedly in power okay so we have to contend with those that are worshiping the ones that are feeding you don't want to hear this i'll see you next week it's not going away This coming week, there will be little eruptions in your life, little things for you personally. I just had one of those yesterday. I was supposed to film yesterday. I couldn't do it. 
I was sick. I was just very, very sick, like physically. My energy was just really low. And I was having, through that experience, these realizations pop up and these moments of clarity. Everything that we think we're missing has been under our noses the entire time. And you can apply that to a lot of different things. It's a complicated message, but there is a battle going on. It's between those who feel and those who don't feel. And these people who don't feel, they're the ones who have run us and diminished having any feelings or any compassion. Look at the people who get rewarded in corporations. I know I worked for, the last corporation I worked for, I proved myself over and over and over and over and over again. Never got promoted. Why? I was passed over for somebody who was ruthless because they've got what it takes. It's a grand statement to say the world needs to change because the sentiment that we get trained with is that the world is what it is. It's never going to change. And I would have been like, yeah, I know. We've got to kind of just go with it and find our way as best we can. But we are seeing now that those things that we always thought was impossible or would be impossible, they are coming to pass. They are happening. Every day I get more and more of an inkling about this and I feel like this is going to be happening for a lot of you out there or maybe it's already been happening. Well, we're just observing. We're seeing. We're prepping. We're getting ready. We're getting ready for what's to come. Michelle, what is that? What are we talking about? The brain is going to want us to put it in very distinct terms. On this date, at this time, these are the people that are going to be warring with these people, or this is the discovery or the information that comes out when we're ticked off because this has been hidden from us for so long. But really what it is, is understanding, it's understanding how we've been controlled. It's understanding what we've given into. What we have started to believe about ourselves, that we're incapable. I guarantee each and every one of you, you have a cluster of the feeder type souls around you. I guarantee the feeder souls can't help themselves. Their mouths just go, 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 because the ego is so damaged and so wounded and so needy that they have to defend themselves. Now, there are codependent type people who also defend themselves because we're learning to set boundaries, okay? And narcissists love to jump on the codependents and say, see, you're the narcissist. And now the codependent starts, again, go check with an expert. But the codependent starts scrambling around trying to heal and going, what's wrong with me? Is it really me? See the abuse? Mm -hmm. So I guarantee if you look around, don't tell me, oh, my best friend, she's a sweetheart. Okay, like as I say that, like don't go <laughs> trying to find something wrong with all the people around you. Maybe that's not it, okay? But I'm saying like that person that you think of as like a good pal that I go out with. How many times do they take subtle digs at you? How many times do they speak in a diminishing way and twist in your words? And you find yourself having to go, that's not what I said. Is that what I said? Am I a bad person? Did, what is wrong with me? Why did I? Because I didn't mean that. And they're just getting fed. This is a bigger problem than anybody will realize, okay? Except we're starting to, <laughs> all right? So as we start cracking open, as I said, you're going to have these little eruptions as a person, these little realizations. And the way that you can get through, the way I'm understanding right now, the way that you can get through is through self-care. Do not beat yourself up if you fall into a, a low space. Do not beat yourself up if you end up having a binge eating day or binge drinking or, you know, something like that. Always seek help from somebody who is trustworthy and who can actually help you. Sorry, there was like a boom outside my door. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but like, um, you know, so lean on, get, get whatever help that you need, but do not beat yourselves up for that. 
and there it is. Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I ended up getting somebody else's package and had to like <laughs> try to catch them. That has been happening a lot recently. Anyway, I was getting all intense and involved and we're opening our eyes to these, we're opening our eyes to these toxic patterns. And people are going to resist this. People are going to resist this. As I was saying, you know, narcissists are going to get very defensive. They're the ones that leave the nasty comments. They're the ones that go on smear campaigns because you call them out because that's why I say check with an expert and this way it's extremely helpful because they'll tell you not to call out a narcissist. Actually what I'm doing right here isn't going <laughs> to, isn't going to go so well for me because I am speaking out against people who are, um, the ones that might be pulling the strings a little bit. Okay. I didn't check my hair. Oops. <laughs> my hair is unruly. You, you know me by now, right? Anyway. Be aware of that. So these little moments of discovery are going to start opening up. And yes, you might have this rebellion. I think I was getting into the best way to uh, know how to do this is to not beat yourself up. If you're having a moment, find help, a lot of self-care. Do not, I cannot, I can't say this anymore. I just can't say, I'm going to say it one more time. If you wait for things outside of you to go the way you expect before you can be happy, you're going to be miserable. You're going to be miserable. You need to create your own happiness and don't see yourself as limited because you're not throughout all of this. I have, I'll give you an example. I have discovered my creativity. It's not the greatest stuff. I've made cookies. They turned out wonky. Uh, <laughs> I did some decorating on my balcony. Um, I put together, by the way, I have new readings coming out. They, I put together my own little divination tools. We're going to be having some fun with that. And those are meant to be a little more relaxing and rejuvenating. You know, the weeklies can be at times a little more hard hitting. That's where we get into the deepest part of what we need to know. So those will be coming out pretty soon. But you know, during all of this, I have opened up that creative flow and started to work on that. I still have my bad days. I had one yesterday and I got up, I took care of myself and here I am today. So once you take care of yourself and you're coming from a healthy space, your body will let you know what's up. Okay. Have you ever met somebody and you're like, on the surface, they seem really nice. But every time I hang out with them, I'm in the middle. I literally, guys, this literally happened. I was sharing with someone that I had lost two family members during all of this. This person acted like I said nothing and was looking over at something else and talking about something really stupid. I had just said something really deep. Okay. That's a, that's a covert narcissist. Okay. I guess I could be a narcissist of any type, but that person was trying to get across that what I had to say didn't matter. Excuse me. I've had that happen twice now. So, you know, these are the kinds of things that we want to be looking for. We want to balance this. So it's not a matter of let me overthink things. Let me see where my enemies are so that I can capture them and not be taken by them. Don't get dramatic about it, right? We don't want to, you know, drag our energy down with that. But there is an element here where we need to open our eyes. We need to take care of ourselves. We need to trust our instincts about people. And I've had narcissists come to me and say, I just don't have a good feeling about you. And I think it's the biggest compliment ever because <laughs> I'm like, I know why you don't have a good feeling about me. Cause you know, I see right through you, you know, I got you and you don't, you don't like that cause you can't feed off of me and you're going to try to twist it. Like it's my fault that I'm not giving you what you need. Then, as I said before, we have the extra problem of people who are brainwashed by these people who do not feel they believe it. They, they buy into it and then they're down on us as well. Whether or not you like this message is going to be incredibly telling. Because if you are on the side of people who feel, you just stood up and started clapping your hands and saying freedom at last. If you're a little confused and fuzzy, you're probably one of the people who's gotten sucked in and you're a little bit brainwashed. And you think, no, this is the way to be and I'm just not enough and I have to listen to this person. If you are angry and you want to throw something at your computer, your TV, we know what side you fall on. It's a different day. It's a different day. So let's get onto the cards. Okay, so we're gonna be using our crystal deck and I brought back the color cards for this week because whenever times are tough, like really tough, I feel like those really tell us what's happening. <laughs> Hi.
high, okay? So we have Ocean Jasper, schedule yourself in. So this talks about, again, this is a, a bit of conditioning that if you're not accomplishing, 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 then you're somehow not doing life right. So if this is saying, create the picture of your life that you want, you need to be in good health spiritually so that you can start pinpointing and spotting the frauds. I'm going to tell you right straight up, the frauds. I'll give you an example. I met somebody, it's a long time ago. I met somebody, went out for a drink. This person, number one, had to, you guys know, I always say that this is a sign where someone's just not respectful of your time. This person was not respectful of my time, kept changing the plans, and then ended up showing up late. And then when this person did show up late, all she did was sit there and complain about her boyfriend. We get conditioned to go, oh, she needs you. You're a terrible person for not listening. No, you need to wake up. <laughs> okay, wake up. All right, this kind of thing can no longer happen. This person completely drained me by complaining. And by the way, we were just getting to know one another. We didn't know each other well enough for her to be telling me some of the stuff that she was telling me. I mean, she was telling me like some intimate stuff and everything. This same person tried to act. This isn't the 1111 woman. You guys know the, <laughs> the story I told a long time. This is a different person. But this person sat there and tried telling me, that she's so spiritual and she has all of, you know, she, she just knows everything and she's just terrific and she's done all these spiritual things. And yet, everything in my body was like sickened. It was a sickened feeling in my, in my body and I could not wait to get away from her. And there was just extreme regret for even putting myself together and going out when I could have been home reading a book, <laughs> right? I could have been doing something that is nurturing, scheduling myself in instead of giving, it's upside down, uh, scheduling myself in instead of giving her that time to just come and drain me. Now the fraudulent part would be, the spiritual community is, oh, it is so, I'm getting so, I'm having a moment. Uh, it is so filled with these types of people and also filled with people who follow them as if they are true gurus, okay? These are usually sociopaths. It's a different day. Do you hear me? It's a different day. They're not going to get away with this anymore. It's going to take a while for it to fully open because first there's going to be all this battling and, you know, them trying to gain control again, so on and so on. Uh, but what we're getting at here is schedule yourself in, start to be aware of those kinds of people. Uh, pay attention to your body. In this case, I was like, okay, I need to get away from this woman. And it was so funny because she kept going, oh, well, don't you want to join me and my friends for our spiritual groups? I'm like, nope, <laughs> no, I don't. And even though I have a spiritual practitioner business and I've had it for years, she just got started on her thing. She was talking down to me, was not interested in what I had to offer, uh, was preaching at me about spiritual concepts where I'm like, yeah, I know. Like what, huh? Like, do you want to have a free flowing equal conversation or do you want to talk down to me so that you feel important? Open your eyes, open your eyes. Okay. So take care of yourself. You'll know that's how you tell. Okay. And there's a message here too to stop giving our power away to people who we perceive as running our lives. Who has control over you? Not getting codependent, here's that word again, with your spiritual team. Okay, they're not here to live for us. They're here to guide us, all right? And people get so irritated when they come for an angel reading. P.S. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsoulsfofofo.com. Okay. <laughs> also, Gumroad. I have some... Uh, videos that I'm doing on Archangels on my YouTube channel, but the deeper, longer courses are over at Gumroad. It's gumroad.com slash angel souls. All that info is down below. And thank you for everybody who supports me on Patreon. So what I'm getting at is when people come for personal readings and they don't get told exact instructions on what to do, they might attack. Guess what kind of person that is? They will attack. Or they'll say, I'm disappointed in what you said to me. 
uh, because you know again that's our brain and our our brains in a human way we want everything's very linear everything has to have a label everything has to be neat and tidy and we have to accomplish things and if we don't have the instruction we feel like we can't move forward and you know it's a whole thing right so that's just kind of how we function but the angels like I said and especially you know spirit guides and stuff like that they're not here to tell you how to do things how many people are going to argue that how many people are going to argue and say no the do not listen to those people what side of history do you want to land on okay that's what we're talking about and that's a perfect example oh uh who was it somebody somebody left a comment and said angels are incredibly predictive and i had to say a prayer because this person was acting as a spiritual practitioner i've heard people say about me that I'm self-righteous for saying these things. Say whatever you want. I have a job to do and this is it. It might morph and change down the road. I don't know. I'm going to have to stay open to what the universe needs from me. But I'm not going to be quiet anymore. Uh, Michelle, you're never quiet. You always have a big mouth. What kind of person are you? I see you. I see right through you. And you don't bother me. What I really want to do here and what I have to do is warn others and get others to open their eyes. Say what you want. Do what you want. All right? We're going to get through this. <laughs> be here. Be here. And don't be afraid to be an empath. Don't be afraid to feel because that's your heart. That's your heart wisdom. And watch out for the pretend empaths, okay, who claim to be in their heart, but really they only care about themselves. Make sense? Okay. So this is... <laughs> This is the most, right? All right, so we have sunstone, take pleasure in the things you do. Again, this goes along with that schedule yourself in. This is going to help you cope, to manage, to find. It is a little bit of like finding the bright side. You guys know I'm not about spiritual sidestepping or pretending like things aren't happening. But we don't have to give in to, oh, no, everything outside of us is awful. Or maybe there's, you know, something about what's happening right now that's happening to you directly. Again, you know, I, I, haven't, I haven't had the easiest year either. There have been people who have gone out of my life. Two of my family members since the beginning of this year have crossed over. And what it was from, we'll never know. We know they were exposed, but we don't know really what happened. It was their time. And that's, that's what I'm going to hang on to. But still, even through that, and not being able to go home and be with my family, not being able to say goodbye in the way that we would normally do, I made an altar for my uncle, and I planted a garden for my grandpa. And that's it. And I've had my conversations in my heart, right? So we have to make sure that we're not being dictated by what's outside of us. And yet, there's an art to deprogramming and getting in touch with our true voice. Because that true voice is not going to be egotistical. That true voice is not going to hate. Although we all have our moments, right? We all get <laughs> feisty or passionate or whatever. I'm not saying that that's necessarily bad. It just depends on who it's coming from. It just depends on who the source is. Because we've seen people, again, with this overcorrection that's part of the deprogramming. We all go through it. Or we tap into our hearts and we're angry. And there's a lot more to be released. So there's that part of it as well. So just be, be ready for that. Okay. A couple more cards here. Okay, it was just like, bloop. all right, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Amethyst, trust your intuition, you guys, hello, okay, we've been saying this for like, I don't even know how long this video is, because I don't have my contacts on, I can't see anything, okay, this is how I also end up in videos with messy hair, can't see nothing, I see there's a human being there in the monitor, this isn't the best way to do your videos, I suppose, but here we are, so Amethyst, trust your intuition, again, we don't even have to explain that too much, because we've already been through that, so make sure you're taking care of yourself so that you can trust yourself. Now here's the other one. As you write, get laser focused. This is what we're learning as well. 
We're learning the true nature of energy. We're learning what we're made of. We're learning how to focus that energy so that we can expand. And Azurite is also about speaking your truth. It's absolutely about speaking your truth. And that, you know, again, you got to be careful. You can't just, I don't know, you can't just go out there and start speaking your version of the truth and saying, because this is what a lot of people are doing. This is where we get a lot of the rebellions that, you know, where it becomes might makes right. And yeah, maybe you made incredible change, but at what cost? At what mark on your soul? Trust your intuition. All right, so our color card for this week. Sapphire, regenerate your body. The number is 38. So mastery. Here we go. This is self-mastery. This is also protection. This is very Archangel Michael kind of energy. And this is that kind of goes with that get focused, get laser focused. Michael brings clarity and you need to regenerate your body. And what's in the, what's in the, the cells of your body? What kind of gunk <laughs> has accumulated? And that has to do with, you know, getting sick because you know, everybody loves to get on their agendas and be like, oh, my agenda is food supply. I don't think you're wrong about poison being in our food or however we want to see that or it's being all messed with or whatever. I don't think you're wrong. But I think maybe some people's approach to trying to educate people is like, you know, people actually get threatening about it. Like, like if you're not this, if you don't eat this way, then you're crazy. And it's usually they're selling something. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I keep thinking of all those ads that come up before the YouTube videos where it's like, I found the greatest invention around food. Uh, you know, food has been around since humans have been around, I think. I don't know history. All right. But <laughs> I'm assuming, you know, there was a way that people ate. Um, I don't know. So a anyway, the whole point here is to regenerate your body in the way that is, is feeling right for you. So if you feel like you need to maybe not put so much on your plate. Maybe you need, <laughs> literally and figuratively, um, to maybe not schedule so many things in and give yourself some relaxation time and do it in a way that is filled with gratitude. <laughs> like, I'm grateful for having this time. I'm grateful for being here. All right. So let that be the focus this week because <sighs> there are going to be shakeups. There are going, you have not seen anything yet. Watch October. November, don't even, I'm going to be, it. I've done told y'all, my birthday is November 12th. I'm going to be in this apartment with a cake, okay? <laughs> I have to get ahead of time or something. And then I'm hiding from everybody, okay? And whatever, I'm just, I, I don't even know what's going to be going on exactly. We'll tune in when it's the time, but I just feel like generally the rest of this year, um, there are going to be things that we never could have imagined. So we're going to leave it there. Sending you love and take care. Bye-bye.